In this video, I want to demonstrate uh, the method of series solution of a differential equation. We take as our specific example uh, y double prime plus y equals zero, and we know the solution is going to be um, uh, cosine x and sine x. So I want to see if we can get this solution uh, by a series uh, ansatz. So we will try uh, y of x equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a sub n times x to the n. So we try a solution in a power series form. Um, to do this, then we need to take the, uh, find the second derivative of y. So we can differentiate term by term. So the first derivative uh, brings down an n, so n times a sub n times x to the n minus 1, and the uh, starts now at from n equals 1 to infinity, because the n equals 0 is the constant term. The uh, second derivative uh, brings down an n minus 1, so n times n minus 1 times a sub n, times x to the n minus 2, and this one will start at n equals 2 to infinity. Um, we substitute into the differential equation. So the second derivative of y plus y equals 0, that becomes the sum from uh, n equals 2 to infinity times n, n minus 1, times a sub n times x to the n minus 2 for the second derivative plus y which is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity a sub n x to the n all equals to 0. Okay. Um, at this point we need to write the left hand side as a single power series <coughs> At which, at which point, after which point we can uh, set the coefficients of powers of x equal to zero. So to write as a single power series, we need to change the uh, index of the, um, the first term, x to the n minus 2, to x to the n. To do that, uh, we do a shift. So we write the first term, the sum from n equals 2 to infinity, n, n minus 1, a sub n times x to the n minus 2, equal to a sum where we want to shift x to the n minus 2 to x to the uh, n. In order to do this, what started at n equals 2 here, which would be x to the 0, we start rather than at n equals 2, we start at n equals 0. The upper limit is infinite, is still the same. And because we start at n equals 0, the n equals 2 term here, and the n term in the sum when n equals 2 is 2, and now it's supposed to be 2 when n equals 0. So the n term gets shifted up to n plus 2, that corresponds to the n term. The n minus 1 term, which was 1 when n equals 2, supposed to be 1 when n equals 0, gets shifted up to n plus 1. And the a term, which was a sub 2 when n equals 2, should become now a sub n plus 2. Okay? These two uh, power series are identical, term for term. There's just a relabeling of the index. Okay? So when we do that now, we can add uh, these two power series. They have a common uh, uh, n equals 0 to infinity x to the n, so we can just add the coefficients. So then we get the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the first term, which has this coefficient, n plus 2 times n plus 1 
times a to the n plus 2 plus the coefficient of the second term which is a sub n all times x to the n equals 0. All right. Now at this stage we have a power series equal to 0 so that means that all of the coefficients of x to the n have to be 0. So that means for each n from 0 to infinity, the term in this square brackets has to be 0. That gives us the recursion relationship. This term equals 0 means we can solve for a sub n plus 2. So a sub n plus 2 is equal to minus a sub n over n plus 2 times n plus 1. And this is called the recursion relation. Okay. Um, so what this breaks down then into is two decoupled uh, sequences. So we have two sequences. We have uh, this does not determine all of the a's, but if you specify a sub 0, say, then it determines a sub 2, and then you put a sub 2 back in, and then you get a sub 4. So one of the sequences has to specify a sub 0, and then you get even coefficients of a. Okay? That's the first sequence. The second sequence then would be the odd ones. So you specify a sub 1 and this recursion relation will give you a sub 3. And then you substitute a th sub 3 back and you get a sub 5 and then a sub 7. Okay? So we end up with two separate sequences. So then that will correspond to two separate power series, right? This one will be the power series of, um, sorry, let me just write it out, will be a0 plus a2x squared plus a4x to the fourth. And this one will be the power series a1x plus a3x cubed plus a5 x to the fifth. Okay, so each of these two sequences will correspond to two separate power series coming from the initial uh, ansatz. Okay, so the question is then what are these two power series? So we can uh, calculate them from the recursion relation. So uh, using the recursion relation, if we're given a0, right, we start with a0, then we can compute a2. So um, a2 then is minus n equals 0 here to get a2, minus a0 over 2 times 1. right and then so on to the next one is a4 is uh, minus n equals 2 on the right hand side minus a2 over 4 times 3 and then we can use what we know from a2 gives us a0 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 right we notice that this is minus a0 over 2 factorial. So this is a0 over 4 factorial. a sub 6 becomes minus n equals 4 here, minus a4 over 4 plus 2 is 6 times 4 plus 1 is 5 we substitute in a4, so we have a 6 times 5 times 4 factorial, which is 6 factorial. 
So we have a minus a0 over 6 factorial. Okay? So that tells us what our first series is. So our first series here, a0, a2, a4 all depend on a0. So the first series is a0 times 1 plus a2, sorry, should be a minus sign, a2 minus a0 over 2 factorial minus x squared over 2 factorial plus a4 x to the fourth plus the a0 is factored out x to the fourth over 4 factorial minus a0 over 6 factorial x to the sixth over 6 factorial plus so this first series we can recognize this as the Taylor series expansion of cosine x. So the first series is a0 cosine x. Okay? a0 cosine x. So cosine x then is one of the solutions of the uh, initial differential equation. Okay. We can now tackle the a1 uh, sequence. So we start with a1, and then when n equals 1, we determine a3 is minus a1 over 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 1, it's minus a1 over 3 times 2. a5 is n equals 3 here in the recursion relation, minus a3 over 5 times 4, which will be a1 over 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, so that's 5 factorial. This is minus a1 over 3 factorial. Uh, a7 is uh, minus n equals 5, minus a5 over 7 times 6 which is uh, minus a5 minus a1 over 7 factorial. Okay, so then if we um, have the series, so we have the series then too, there's a common factor of a1, so we have a1 and then we have an x plus a3 times x cubed which will be minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus a5 times x to the fifth plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial plus a7 times x to the seventh minus x to the seventh over 7 factorial and if we look at this series this is the series for sine so this is a1 sine x. Okay? So what we've done is we've determined two independent power series for y. We have the first one proportional to a0 and that one has the even power series 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial minus s to the 6 over 6 factorial plus the second series which has the odd terms x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5th over 5 factorial minus x to the 7th over 7 factorial and those are our two power series solutions our two free constants and because we know the solution here, we know this is a cosine x plus a1 sine x. Okay? In general, we will not have an analytical form for the solution.